Yo, what's up guys, it's me Absol Habibi and today we are going to do some naval testings and testing out the new naval changes that were made in Europa Universalis 4 in the new Majapahit patch. Sorry if I mispronounced it. Um, also Leviathan DLC. Um, here up here, this beautiful code right here, this is a Leviathan DLC code for the first viewer who puts that in to Steam, they will get a free Leviathan DLC. And if you in the future want to get a Leviathan DLC or any DLC in the future, um, make sure you hit that bell notification and subscribe to my channel. So what exactly was changed? Well, the major change that they did was that galleys now are half an engagement with and the second major change that they did was now engagement with changes with technology. Before, um, it barely got changed through time and your combat width was solely based off of the maneuverability of your Admiral. The thing is, um, the maneuverability from Admirals still plays a factor in engagement width, but now your engagement width can be much, much higher because with techs, you can get up to like 80 or 90 uh, engagement width with the right Admiral. But yes, ships now cost more sailors, and as time goes on, they start to cost even more. The price gets higher and higher and higher until eventually three deckers get uh, cost 900 sailors, almost a thousand sailors, while galleys cost 180 sailors, which is also uh, might could be considerable. The thing we're going to test today is we're not going to see whether galleys be. Um, beat heavies in Inland Sea because, you know, so much Inland Sea was added in the Southeast Asia area. What we're going to see is, are galleys better than heavy ships even in open sea? The reason why I thought uh, I wanted to test this was because immediately when I thought uh, saw the change that galleys are now half an engagement width and you get more engagement width, the amount of cannons that you can fit in into one stack of uh, galleys would be absolutely massive and even if you're fighting in open sea with the galleys they would still win and i wanted to test if my theory was correct so to demonstrate them just like in a void we're going to demonstrate using two nations that both don't have any naval traditions or i don't even think ideas um uh, and one side is going to be heavy ships and one side is going to be galleys. So what we're going to do is we're going to do Timurids. They're going to be the galley nation. And Vijayanagar will be the heavy nation. And they're going to battle in this sea province right here. Northern Arabian Sea. And we're going to see which, which composition of units will win. Well, Timurids will be our galleys. Vijayanagar will be our Karaks. So let's do the math chat. 25, we're going to do 1.5 times all engagement width because that's like a proper stack. Um, so ships can retreat as well. If they don't have something to reinforce them, they will stay in the battle and then the ship will sink. And if the ship sinks, your entire navy takes a morale hit. It's kind of like land, but it's a little bit more lame. But <laughs> anyways, um, we're going to see. Do we have any heavies? We do. We're going to delete everything that's not heavies for the sake of the test. This is our galley stack. We put in two heavies to tank for the galleys. This is the heavy stack, just all heavy ships, 1.5 times engagement width, very simple. This guy over here. All right, now moment of truth. Okay, they're both in the war. We're gonna declare war. Okay, here's the first naval eng engagement. Again, they both have one one ones, and they should be rolling fives, okay? As you can see, both are in the battle. Oops, should have slowed that down. And right away, the heavies are getting absolutely demolished. We're, um, we got, uh, there we go, 2.3 to 2.3, and, oh god, here it comes. Uh, they got stack wiped, so the heavies got stack wiped. That's the first tech, alright? They're in open sea. This is an open sea. Holy moly, okay. Now we are, uh, let's just make sure they're the right thing, okay. Now, and also just to make sure AI is disabled, just do this real quick. AI, 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 okay. Now it's tech 10, okay? So we have uh, Karaks versus War Galleys, all right? 
Karax have 50 cannons, they're still 3 engagement, War Galleys have 15 cannons, have half a naval engagement. So again, same math. This time we'll also include 5 uh, engagement width because of the maneuverability of the general, just so we're more consistent. So we're at 20, we're gonna do that, and then tag Tim. Now let's see, how much do we need? So uh, remember, 30, so it's 30 combat width, 2 ships. So minus uh, 30 minus 6, which is 24. 24 times 2. So we add 24 and then 24 times 2, 48. 48 plus 24, that is 52, 62. So we'll go up to 60 galleys. Go. So here's the battle. It's uh, 38, 38 naval engagement. So it's okay. We, we went over anyways. And if we go to the month tick right there, they're both rolling fives as we intended. Both have a 1-1-1. And on the side of Vajangar, the ships are engaged. You have a bunch of ships that aren't engaged. And on the side of Timurids, you have so many more ships engaged. So many more ships engaged. And then now let's wait. Let's see. One ship, one galley lost. Two galleys lost, three galleys lost, four galleys lost, five galleys lost. And it's another stack wipe. Let's do next tech now. So now we'll test tech 15. Tech 15. So we'll add five tech to these guys. We'll go, uh, we'll, we'll go to tech 15. We'll upgrade the boats. We'll get rid of two Galileons. Put these guys over here. Actually, just delete these. Delete these Galileons. Go back to VJ. Tag Vij. And give them tech 5, oh, tech 4, and upgrade their ships and give them a bunch more heavies. 30. Okay, stab up the vision to 3. And again, uh, maybe this time we'll go on Timurids, and Timurids we will declare the war just so we don't get an insane amount of AE on Vig. Okay, we're going to go to 3, and just again, same thing. Same engagement with same. Uh, Vig has a morale advantage, but let's see if it makes a difference. Even okay, and just to make you guys see, not all the heavies are engaged. As you can see, about half the fleet aren't engaged. Not half, but a good amount of the heavies aren't engaged. On the side of galleys, you got a bunch of ships engaged. All right, let's see. They're both rolling fives, by the way. Same roll. And just a reminder, this is open C. Now, test number... What, what test are we on now? Test 4? Yeah, test 4. So far, galleys are 3-0 and in open Cs against heavies. Let's get them in here. Wait, did I do my math right on the... Let's see. Uh, declare war. Declare war on these guys. Let's go speed 3. Again, same test. Same test. So again, okay. Uh, Vijangar has 0.3 more morale just because of, I think, prestige. Yeah, prestige. Uh, this guy is losing prestige, the the, uh, the Timurids. Uh, it's fine. It's still fine. It will still prove my point. Again, they're at open C. Test number four. Who will win? Galleys or heavies? Open C, by the way. And the heavies got stack wiped again. Test number four. And it happened again. Open C, by the way. No buffs, by the way. No galley combat ability. Nothing. Both sides have nothing. All right, all right, but surely, surely on tech, the next tech, um, uh, heavy ships are better. Surely, surely they are, right? Again, it's a purely a test to see what is better for naval nations, right? This is just a complete sandbox. Don't consider Tim's or VJ. There, none of both of these nations won't be having this many ships. The thing is, though, if you can buy 50 heavy ships, you can buy like 200 galleys. 50 heavy ships are actually hard to maintain.
You can buy like 150 galleys. Surely you can. We're almost there. Next test. Test number five. All 100%. All right. Tag Vig. All right. Uh, how many heavies do we need? We'll do 30. Just to be fair this time, let's overstack heavily on the heavies. Okay. Let's go 50 heavies. Okay. Let's see if that makes a difference. Okay. 50 heavies to 200 galleys. Okay. I'm going to declare war. Tag Tim. Again. All right. Let's see. Who's gonna win? It seems the galleys are opening at uh, winning at open sea, dudes. Again. This galley's gonna die. But look at the health of the heavies. Jeez. It's not a stack wipe this time, but. Jeez. Surely, surely, surely. In the late game, the last one. Three decker. Surely yeah, the three. <laughs> they still lost half their ships, by the way. They didn't get stack wide, but they lost half the ships. Surely three deckers are better. Final test. Test number what? Six? Test number six. Test number six. So far, galleys are winning. Galleys win have won five and zero. Okay? And this is open sea. This is open sea. Just a reminder. Open sea. Both sides have a 1-1-1 admiral. Both sides should have about the same stats. Okay? Let's start the battle. I think actually VJ has again higher morale. No, Timurids do by 0.1, but it's fine. It's 0.1. Let's see. Oh my god, the galleys are just absolutely wrecking. They're just absolutely wrecking already. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. And they didn't get stack wiped, but they lost 33 heavies. And we only lost, what? 11 galleys. 30 heavies to 11 galleys. That's full engagement with on both sides. Ah! <laughs> Just bam galleys. Just spam galleys. Just spam galleys. If if they don't change... Okay, chat. If they don't change either the cannon size or they don't change the engagement width of galleys, you just spam galleys. If you're a naval nation, you spam galleys. Overall, what we learned from this, using Timurids and Vajanagar, two nations with no naval ideas, no naval bo bonuses, both rolling five. We made it so they roll five each time. Same thing, five, 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 five. Overall, what we've discovered and the current state of the game of Leviathan, galleys reign supreme. Galleys reign super supreme on heavies. The only use for heavies is how we use them here. By the way, we stole three heavies. We used two heavies to go to the front line and tank for our galleys.